Why, hello there, YouTube. This is Michelle. Happy Wednesday. I have a hopefully quick YouTube share for you. Everyone has been making these travelers notebooks, and I decided to jump in the craze making one using a design that I came up with last fall. I had made a portfolio using Summer's Inn, that's Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I merely took an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, and I scored it at four and a half, five and a fourth, and nine and three fourths, and then had a second piece cut at four and three eighths by eight and a half, scored at half, to create, this portfolio. So what's neat about the portfolio is you can make a bunch of them at one time. Um, it gives you a three-fourths inch gusset. There's a flap here which can either be adhered down to make a side tuck or it can actually be used to help close the portfolio. So anyway, if anyone has any questions about that, just leave a comment, but let me show you what I've created. And this is using some of the haul packs of Seven Gypsies paper from Tuesday morning. I think right now I'm up to four different varieties. I may have even five, but they are collage sheets. Uh, they are sold in packs. I'm sure they were sold to scrapbook stores and then I guess if not opened, they were uh, however Tuesday morning gets them. But I've every time I see one, I just love the collage. I love the colors. They are, um, on the one side is the design. On the back side, it's manila colored. And so just great for making junk journals. So let's get in real quick. This is a two-signature junk journal that I've made um, in, again, the portfolio. On the front I've used a piece of the design paper that I've cut to, sh to size. I have a little tag. It looks like the bird is holding the tag. And up top here just for some embellishment I have a lace bow and a bicycle charm hanging from a bulb that's in an eyelet there in the front. You can see a small teeny tiny trim that has been adhered just for some design or decoration. Uh, the spine I have not covered. Typically I take whatever lace I'm using and I cover up the spine to cover up my stitching. But this time, for whatever reason, who knows, I decided to try the crisscross method of sewing in the two signatures. Oh my goodness, I needed geometry, trigonometry, chemistry, you name it. <laughs> In theory, I knew how it should work, but in practicality, it was a hot mess. But I got them in, and uh, if nothing else, the outside looks really cool. So here's the back. Again, with the Seven Gypsies paper, they're collage sheets, so you can cut. If you're cutting down the paper uh, to fit your design or your whatever you're covering, you can pick and choose portions of the collage as you like. My closure is simple, and I can't think of this. It's not, it's thicker than baker's twine, but it's that household string you have around uh, to do, um, I don't know, tie your turkey. I'm not sure what you would do with this stuff. But anyway, I have a whole spool of it, so I thought this looked a little bit more rustic and rugged for travel. There are, of course, the two bells on the end because I just like how that sounds. And let's get on the inside. So the way the design is made, when you open up the portfolio, there's an inside flap. And on this one, I've used packaging to make and create an envelope here. A little design paper in there just for writing. This was a stash piece of ephemera that I had. I'm not sure what company it's from, but it just seemed to uh, go with the travel theme. You open the flap up, and here I have a tea bag. This uh, came from a box of tea. My sister and I split a box of tea bags. Uh, she was using hers to make bath salts and soaks, and I used mine to house 
tchotchkes when I was into doing ATC swaps. So anyway, they're just it's just really fun because it's the tea bag material, but it's a little bit sturdier. So I've done a little stamping on the outside of the bag and on the inside. I've tucked, and I'm not going to be able to get it out, so you can look at it. I'll show you another one, but this is one of Ephemera's Vintage Garden Moth uh, moth Mason Jars. Um, on this side here, we've got a pocket that I've made out of design paper, and then just from the offsets, I've made tags and little spots for, or just where I just folded them in half for additional journaling. You get the idea. Just additional spots for writing notes and things. It's not really embellished a lot. And I also didn't use coffee dyed paper because I want it to be um, conducive to putting photos in. Um, here I've got one of Denise Sayers's, that's a Tattered Dreams vellum bags. I've done a little bit of stamping with some stays on ink. And here, so this is the jar that I couldn't show you before. It's a mason moth jar, and I cut off the label so that I wouldn't freeze. See, that's from a Fimmer's Vintage Garden. Mason moths. I'll put that back in there. So let's get into the first page of the journal. So I've used a lot of different just fun papers. Again, nothing has been coffee stained and there's very little embellishment. Idea being that you're going to write notes and Keep track of adventures and trips and sights, etc. Here and here, I've got a little. This is one of these little tiny mini file folders that I got off. It's an Etsy purchase, Etsy digital purchase. There, got some primary paper. I've got some linen paper with some washi. I've got some ledger paper. A little vellum in this signature here again with the butterflies, more linen paper with washi. I've got, oopsie, I'm reaching around my iPad mini. I've got a time card here. This is from Denise's shop, again, the Tattered Dream. And then here, and I had already, I filmed this three times or so, so I didn't even restage it. This is a card from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, a postcard. It's been lined with, um, I think it's called Vintage Coffee Stains. That's also from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Debbie Ann. Hey, Debbie Ann. She gives us some great freebies. And so this is one of Denise's bags, and this card actually goes in there. I forgot to put it back in when I messed up the previous video. <laughs> Um, I've got some newsprint paper, more linen paper. Here's the center of the signature. I used cotton thread to um, sew in the signatures, and there are butterflies floating from the ends of that string. And then just going on the backs, again, I forgot to restage it, <laughs> so I'd taken the cards out of the bags. And so it's the same as on the other side. There's that time card and that vellum piece, back side of the ledger paper, linen, primary paper, and then a pocket on the back, again with some more tags and just some journaling cards. And the back of the first signature, I have a jelly bean bag that has got design paper on the front. It's adhered on three sides so that you have a tuck back here and then a tuck here. And the alteration tag is from a Tattered Dream as well. Second signature. Now first, you may notice that there is some cute embellishment in between the signatures. This is to show you to cover up and band-aid the funky stitching. <laughs> like I said, they're in here really tight, but Again, some of the stitching was showing. I'm not sure what happened with that crisscross. But it looks great from the outside. So here we go with the second signature. Again, lots of birds, lots of botanicals and birds in these collections from Seven Gypsies. There, so that's inside there. Again, just more linen. Here's some lined paper. I had a tablet of this lined paper got some mulberry or handmade paper. It's got petals and leaves in it. 
both sides. This is one of the Chili's bags. Great for tags. Just great for tags. Love these bags. And if you get a nice um, person, hey, you can get a stack of them. That's what happened last time I went. The guy just gave me a whole stack. So it's that. I've done some fussy cutting um, from the design paper. And the little butterflies, that's a Fiskars little mini stamp. Here's some ledger paper. Got plenty of that as an accountant. Uh, here's one of Denise's vellum bags. I've done some stamping on it just for interest. Inside is just, again, a sheet of another cut from the paper collage that's just been folded in half for journaling or note-taking or whatever you're doing on your vacation. Um, and then here's some more linen paper. Here's from one of the hotels. A pad of paper that uh, came home with me there. More primary paper. Here is some more design paper. Uh, this flips out and there's a little tip-in or a little hiding space there. A little bit of stamping. This, These inserts have swallows instead of the butterflies. Um, again, all the punches, uh, they're either Martha Stewart or this is a Paper Studios punch. I just got the, the roses. Love it. But this is Martha Stewart. Folds out. There's a neat page there. Back side of the envelope. Here is some more design paper just folded in half. I've put some swallows here. Got butterflies on the back just for a little bit of embellishment. Ledger paper. Back side of the Chili's bag. And you'll see I've put a belly band and slid a tag in there. Um, this side of the handmade paper opens up and with this paper you can actually write on it but you just need a really good ballpoint pen. If you use um, uh, Sharpie sometimes it bleeds so it, it, it looks terrible so a good ballpoint pen and you can write on it. Again just the other side of the, these papers again no coffee stain paper just because uh, I'm thinking about putting pictures in. I have a trip coming up in May. Girlfriend's graduating, uh, getting a master's, and uh, I plan on going to visit my daughter. She scored an internship in Augusta, Georgia, and hey, got to go down and check that out. Um, the back here, I've got an organza baggie with a little another little tag, and here's the back, and that's what I was showing you how this flap can be either adhered down to make a tuck spot, or it can actually be used to close the the book, I left it clo um, adhered, and it hides the knot for the other side of the string. So, there you have it. Uh, so fun to make, I think, especially with the summer months coming uh, and people getting ready to do traveling. These travel journals are a kick to make. Again, if you're interested in the portfolio design and didn't get the measurements, it's... You just need a sheet and a half of paper, the eight and a half by 11 size sheet. You end up scoring on the 11 inch side, four and a half, five and a fourth, and nine and three fourths. Then you have a second sheet that is four and three eighths by eight and a half. You score it at the half line. You would adhere that in. That makes the flap that opens up and you've got yourself a really cool portfolio. So anyway, hope everybody is having a great Wednesday. Happy, happy crafting. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.